If you missed my first video, I got this all uh, squared away. I did kind of the how-to on what I was going to do. I uh, got my truss and I got the gussets all uh, welded on. I used this weld right here. It was uh, great. It looks, uh, I let it dry for a couple hours and the uh, sucker's on there. It's not going anywhere. So now I just kind of wanted to go over some painting tips with you. Um, I like to use really good stuff. This has like rust protection and stuff like that. Um, yeah, you just uh, you just kind of get in there good and uh, it's uh, ah, oh, what the? Well, okay. So besides that shit, um, okay. Make sure it's facing the right way first of all, and then uh, okay. So you really want to get in. There. Let me see if I can get this good. Okay, so get in there and. What you want to do is a lot of people recommend, I got a first, a good first coat on there yesterday, but a lot of people recommend like short even strokes, but that doesn't really get good penetration. And like most things in life, spray painting is all about penetration. So what you really want to do is just kind of get in there and just hold it down. Just kind of really like soak it up. If it's dripping, that's good. You really want to get a lot of good dripping because that means it's really penetrating well. See, there it goes. See how it's kind of just oozing around? It's really getting all the cracks and crevices and stuff. So just keep holding it down and really just get in there deep. Yes, that's really good. See, there's a lot of good penetration there. And then just kind of let it dry for a, you know, a couple minutes. If you don't like how it looks, just kind of wipe it off. And uh, like that. See, it looks kind of smoothed it out too. Looks really good. And then, uh, yeah, just let it get in there and, and dry. What the hell? Anyways, uh, another how-to video for you guys. Um, get at it, keep jeeping. That's where it's at.